Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to show you a quick, a couple quick ways that you can add uh, date timestamps to your notes. So if you want to get in and maybe perform some kind of log and then you have timestamped formatting to some of the bullet points or at the beginning of the lines, either you have the timestamp or you have the date or maybe even a combination of both and you just want to quickly add times and dates into your notes here are a couple nice plugins that will help you do that pretty quick and efficiently but before i get into the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel it really helps get this content out to other people just like yourself looking for content like this and i really appreciate it and with that out of the way let's get into the video so as i mentioned if you want to quickly add these type of timestamps or the date formatting into your notes here are a couple plugins that you can go ahead and download and use them. Let's go into the config. We'll go into community plugins. And the first one's going to be Time Stamper. We'll click on this one here. We will go ahead and install this. We will go ahead and enable it. And if I go into hotkeys, what we want to do is set up the hotkeys in here. You can put whatever you want on these here. I'm going to go ahead and put this one here as a hotkey for this particular plugin. And this is going to do the insert custom time date stamp. So I'm just going to do the custom one, but you can do all three if you like. So let's go ahead and close out of that and let's go ahead and drill into here. So in order to get to this particular plugin, we can either do the uh, command P and then type in time stamper and then we can get to all three of these different format capabilities. Um, if we want to click on here and we want to add time, this is the default of what you would get on the time. We'll hit this line, we'll command P again time stamper we can do the pre-configured date in here also or we can do as mentioned I can go ahead and use my hotkey where I have in here I can put in here an actual custom format for what I want so if I go ahead here why month DD and then maybe I have um, hours minutes and seconds in here so if I do this format now it'll put the date and it will put the time as such so you can change this however you want so this is why I typically do the hotkey for the custom formatting because you can set this up to be whatever you want so if I want to change instead of having the actual uh, SU there for Sunday I'll put capital DD and it'll put in the actual month. I meant the date in here. Now, if we go into the options for this plugin, we can go in here and in here you can change the formatting here for the pre-configured ones. And if you want to also have a, a line break. So after you, you hit one of these and you add one of these to your, to your note, it actually uh, breaks to a new line. So that is Time Stamper, the Time Stamper plugin. And let's go into the second one. So let's go ahead here into the community plugins. We're going to browse. And what we want to look up for now is the natural language dates. We'll go ahead and click on this one here. We will install it, enable it, and then let's go into the options real quick. So Within here, we can see that it's just going to give us a couple options where we can uh, just format things the way we want. So like in the time format there, we can add seconds if we'd like. The date formatting, we can change that as well. Uh, local default for start of week, I usually do Monday for this one here. If you want to put a separator between the time and date, 
or the date and time, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then you can change any of these other options here. Now at the bottom here, they show what the, they show what the trigger phrase is. So this is kind of the key that's going to kick this off when you're typing this in your note. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So we'll X out, we'll go into our note. And if we start this new line, we hit that at sign and we get prompted by default because it's set up this way to give us some hints and, and what we may want to, to put in here. So if I want to do today, I can just go ahead and hit enter. It will put the date in there. And in this particular format, it has to link to this particular daily note um, already put in here. So if you want this in there, you can keep it in there. If not, we can go into the settings and we can turn this off. So if I go into natural language, if you come down here where it says add dates as links, we can turn that off or we can turn it on. Now it is useful to have that in there if you want to link to other daily notes in the past or in the future. So uh, it could be a few, you know, one of the options you might want to leave on. I'm going to turn it off so we can see what happens. So if I come in here and I do at today again, we can see that it has no link now on this particular note. Now that's pretty easy. I can do at tomorrow and you don't have to type the entire word out. You can just go ahead and get enough in there so that it's selected and then hit enter. Now, if I want to do a time, we can just do at and I can do time and you see it gives us some options here on whether we want to do now plus 15 minutes plus an hour and you can just follow the formatting that they use here and put whatever you want. It sees it, see how it puts the, the hour, the minutes, and then the seconds as I formatted it in the options. And again, this is a really quick way to add. Uh, either your date or your timestamps to your note instead of typing the full number colon number colon out you know which is pretty slow you can quickly just hit that hotkey for the time stamper or you can come in here and hit the you know the quick at sign and then get to whatever you want okay so i hope these two plugins really help you out um, and this video was informative if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day